Hey, Matt, how you doing? Congratulations. I'm great. Thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, um, how, how quickly did things move once you uh, you file for arbitration? I mean, I mean that seems to, to be the, uh, the catalyst for a lot of these deals. Um, yeah, I think – I feel like it moved relatively quick. I mean, obviously, it was um, a quite condensed off season with – free agency period and the draft uh, so close together and teams trying to figure out which direction they're, they're trying to go. So uh, I think it was, you know, especially knowing, knowing me that I'm, I'm from Boston, I think it was, uh, you know, definitely wanted to avoid arbitration. I think both sides um, had that in common and uh, just about kind of finding middle ground and wanted to find a, a fair deal for, for both sides and, um, I feel like it moved pretty swiftly. So um, definitely want to thank uh, Don Sweeney and um, the Jacobs family, uh, coaching staff, my teammates um, for helping me along to, to be in this position. And uh, I'm certainly grateful that, that things worked out. Thank you. We'll go next to Mike Loftus. Hi, Matt. How you doing? Good. Hey, way to go. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Uh, was was there anything? Was there any temptation on your part to you know to do the you know either the arbitration or a short term deal you know one of those bet on myself kind of things and and because that would have made you a, a, a UFA in a year. Um, did did that ever cross your mind or was it was it long term the whole way? Um, I think that that was definitely a discussion that I had to have with my agent, but I think that. Um, you know, being from here and, and having uh, the opportunity to play for the Bruins means so much to me. So it wasn't more about wanting to bet on myself and try to get the most money possible. I think that I, I really wanted to, um, if possible, um, be locked up for as long as I could. And this is the place that I want to be and the opportunity that I want to have. So um, for me, I had that, that mindset of just, I, I wanted to be uh, locked up and have that security and, and remain in Boston as long as I can. Okay. And, and, and what are your thoughts? I mean, you, you used the word opportunity, you know, a few times already. I mean, Tory has gone. Um, we don't know really the status of the defense, mm -hmm. you know, going into, you know, what, what, um, you know, what do you envision? What do you, what do you, what do you see for yourself now? Yeah, I think that's, it's up in the air a little bit for sure, but um I think my job is just to come in in as best shape as possible. And I think it's, you know, it's no secret that we want to, you know, and the defense as a whole to add, uh, you know, offensively to our games. And that's something that um, I take pride in and I want to come back, come back with, you know, maybe a, a new mindset of, of wanting to initiate more in the offensive side of the puck and, um, Think we're going to need to in order to, to keep having success and if you want to take that next step as a team we're going to need to uh you know rely on our d to to keep you know pushing pucks up north and and wanting to play offensively so um you know obviously there, there is a little bit of opportunity but it's up to me to to come back a better player and want to take advantage of that right thanks mm -hmm. we'll go next to wbz's dan roach Hey, Matt, congratulations uh, on the Thank new deal. You. Uh, kind of following what up with what Mike said and, and asked you, uh, do you feel with where you are in your career, with what you've been through, you grew up here and, and now you're a Boston Bruin for the next four years that maybe there's a, a chance for you now to, to take your game to that next level and, and, and become an even better defenseman, a, a better offensive defenseman and kind of lead this group going forward for the next several years? Yeah, that's the goal for sure. Um, I think, you know, off the off season, you're trying to improve your game. Um, you know, for me, I, I'm in a good spot right now. I feel like I'm, I'm pretty healthy and um, probably the healthiest I've been in, in a couple of years. And I feel like I'm starting to, to really be in my prime, um, you know, in terms of my body and where it's at and wanting to put on size and strength. I think that's, that's always the focus, but I think now I, I want to add to my game offensively and, and grow my confidence that way. So, yeah, you know, like I said, there, there definitely is opportunity there. And I want to make sure that when I go into 
you know, training camp at the beginning of the season that I'm in a good position to, to take advantage of that. And, and, uh, you know, she wanted to improve my overall game. Do you go out and buy anything? Do you got like, you know what I mean? Do you, do you buy a new truck or anything like that? Or No, no big purchases. Uh, <laughs> it's not something that I've really given too much thought about, but, um, you know, for sure, very glad and, and thankful to be in this position. And, uh, you know, like I said, thank the, the Jacobs family and, and Sweens, especially for, for having that belief in me uh, as a player. And, um, you know, for sure, it's a, it's a life-changing opportunity, but I haven't, I haven't given too many uh, thoughts to some big time purchases or anything like that. Buy something for your dad or your mom or something like that, you know? Yeah, that's, that's, that's first and foremost for sure. They're, uh, <laughs> they're, they're the main reason why I'm in the position that I am right now. And I'm so thankful to, um, you know, to have two great parents like them and be surrounded by so many great people in my life. So I um, feel, feel very blessed to be in this position. Thanks. We'll go next to Matt Porter. Yeah, morning, Matt, and, and congrats. Uh, Thank you. Wanted to follow up on the power play stuff. Uh, what does that look like for you as far as your training and kind of acclimation process? You know, obviously you've watched Tori, you've played, you know, second unit. Um, jumping into that role, what does that challenge look like for you as you try to improve your game? It's obviously a, a big challenge. Um, you know, the power play is something that we rely on for – a lot of our offense in order to have, uh, you know, success throughout the season. And um, it's the first unit is quite stacked with, with offensive talent. And um, I think, you know, obviously Tori is a really special player and it's, uh, it's not always easy being able to having to, to, to go into that position. I think when I've gone in and years past and more focus on wanting to be more of a facilitator and, get the pucks into those guys' hands. But, um, you know, I think I, I do have a lot of um, area of improvement in, in that area. And um, I think that that comes with confidence and, you know, wanting to take that next step as a player. I think that's something that I'm focused on. And um, I think that I can watch more video in order to, to kind of know, you know, not only the, the plays they run, but um, just seeing kind of where the open ice is from, from a different perspective. And I think that hopefully I can apply that to, to my game and add that going forward. Just a reminder to media, if you no longer have a question, if you could lower your hand, we'll go next to Fluto Shinzawa. Hi, Matt. Congratulations. Thank you. Uh, two questions. First of all, if you compare this to a normal off season, in July or August, where are you in terms of your training and preparation for next year? Um, I wanted to kind of get started right away. I think that I didn't want to take too much time off, uh, obviously with what happened with COVID and the season being suspended. Uh, we had we had to take quite a break from from being in the facilities, and um, I've been I've been training for four or five weeks now already uh, in the gym, but haven't uh, been able to get back on the ice. I think I'm going to get on the ice hopefully very shortly and. Um, I'm, I'm very eager to want to improve my game, uh, especially focusing in on the, the offensive side and, and wanting to, you know, improve my shot and improve my ability to, to walk the blue line and uh, create space that way. Okay. And also, it's not just Tori, but also Zidano, possibly. Who knows what's going to happen with him? So if you look at not only the de defense in general, but also the left side, it could be some significant turnover. What what do you see life being like as, as, as it might be possibly without Zdeno? Yeah. yeah I'm, I'm not, uh, you know, sure exactly what's going to happen, but I think that, you know, it's just my job to, to come in and, um, you know, I want to be able to handle more minutes and handle more responsibility. I feel like that I've each year I've, I've gotten better and I, I've improved my overall game. To not only, um, you know, want to initiate more offensively, but uh, also to accept more responsibility in the in the defensive end by, you know, using my smarts, using my skating ability to my advantage, and uh, you know, just trying to break pucks out so that we can get going the other way. But um, yeah, not really sure what's how it's going to shake out, but certainly hope that you know 
would love to have Sedano back. I mean, he's an unbelievable uh, teammate. He's an unbelievable person. And I feel like he still has, uh, you know, a lot of game left. And I know that he's, um, you know, very hungry to to want to um, keep playing and, and keep pushing. And, you know, he's, he's, uh, you know, it, it's, it's awesome to see firsthand his, uh, you know, ability to lead and the example that he sets forth for the entire team. So, um, yeah, like not sure how, how it's going to work out, but like I said, I think it's, it's more about, uh, wanting to come in in as good a shape as possible and take of advantage of any opportunity that comes my way. Thanks, Chris. We'll go next to Joe Haggerty. Hey, Chris. Congrats on the new deal, bud. Thank you. Um, building on the uh, question that my very excellent colleague, Dan Roach, asked, um, you know, one of the pitfalls of signing a, a bigger deal like this is trying to do too much and kind of getting away from what got you the, the contract and where you are in the first place. But that being said, you know, you're not a rookie anymore. You know you're going to be there for a while. Is there a desire to you know, be more vocal, to be more of a, a leader and kind of step up and be, be more of a veteran and, you know, take the reins as far as that goes with the leadership group a little bit more? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, I got the opportunity to be captain in college for two years, and that was uh, an opportunity that I didn't take too lightly. And, um, you know, it's I think it's, you know, part of my personality. I'm not the most vocal guy. I'm, I'm pretty quiet. I try to you know, lead more by example, but um, I feel like that, you know, that just comes with the experience and we have, you know, probably some of the, the best leadership in the NHL um, already on the team and so many years of experience that I don't have to be the most uh, vocal guy and, and want to talk up too much, but uh, you know, I think that does come with confidence and experience through, through playing a number of years and, um, you know, if, if there's anything that, you know, I can add to someone or if a younger player who sort of needs advice, uh, I try to take on that, that role a little bit more and more and more each year, especially, you know, getting the opportunity to play a little bit more with, with guys like Cliffy and Losey who are a little younger. And um, I think they know that if they ever had, you know, any sort of questions or wants to pick my brain apart, and I always wanted to make sure that I'm available for them because, you know, I think that a big reason why I'm in the position that I'm in now is because that I've had people along the way of guys like Adam McQuaid, Kevin Miller, especially obviously Tori, uh, the, you know, decor in general, even the younger guys like Charlie um, and, and Brandon Carlo, um, obviously Z who have, have been there for me. So if there's anyone that, you know, sort of needs uh, any sort of advice or, want to uh, talk about certain certain plays, how, how I see the ice or how I see certain plays developing, then I'm certainly going to make myself, uh, you know, available for that opportunity. I'm showing two final hands up. So we'll go to Steve Connery and then Mike Loftus. Actually, Steve just lowered his hand. So we'll go to Mike Loftus for one final question. Hey, am I all set now? <laughs> all set. Go okay. ahead, Mike. Steve chickened out. Um, <laughs> so, Matt, obviously, I mean, you you you've got to be a confident person, you know, to you know to to make it to the NHL and to stay in the NHL. But um, you know, to get to get to this number, like a long term deal and, and the salary and stuff like that, you know, a did it take a little? Does it take a little time to process that? You know that that this has happened and be, you know, is there any like, you know, pressure, uh, uh, you know, to like, whoa, okay. Now, you know, I, I gotta, I gotta earn this. Yeah, for sure. Um, I think that, um, you know, there, there definitely is a little bit more pressure. You want to live up to it and you, you want to, you want to exceed it. Um, obviously I feel very, very, fairly, very blessed that, they were able to to want to sign me to quite a number of years, and um, um, I'm very I'm very blessed by that. And I want to make sure that I do everything in, in my power to 
to help the team going forward and accept more responsibility and demand more of myself uh, and, and, and feel like that I'm not only uh, living up to it, but exceeding uh, expectations. And um, they've, they've had the trust in me to, to want to sign me to a longer term contract. And that's something that I'm focused on more is improving my overall game and wanting to come back each year a better player and, and be able to look at myself in the mirror at the end and, and know that no matter what, that I, I gave it everything that I had and, and I, I wanted to live up and, and I wanted to produce, um, you know, not only offensively, but just being an overall better defenseman. So that's something that I'm focused on every day.